Santa may have uh, packed a few cars in the sleigh this year. Early data suggests December could be the best month for auto sales this year. Dealers are pushing those year-end sales, trying to clear this year's models uh, off of the showroom floors. They're offering deep discounts, low lease rates, and inexpensive financing. Another reason could be pent-up demand uh, from buyers who have been putting off a new car ever since the recession hit. So let's do this. Let's bring in the car coach, Lauren Fix. She is also founder and owner of Automotive Aspects Incorporated. Lauren, it is good to see you. I haven't seen you in years. It is great to talk to you again. Welcome to Al Jazeera. <laughs> what a pleasure. Yes. It's yeah, it's been forever. Great chatting with you again. I missed you. <laughs> yeah, and I missed you. So I, I got to ask you, uh, why are sales so strong in December? Well, right now, usually December is a quiet month. If you walk in a dealership in most years, the dealers are like, thank God someone walked in. We're here to sell you a car. But sales have been just progressively growing since August of this year. And we're looking at December, this is very rare, going to be 15% over November and 5% over last year at this time. There's tons of incentives. There are great deals. In some cases, as much as $6,000 off a car. Mm -hmm. Lease rates are amazing. You can get into a VW Jetta that's brand new, a 2014, for under $200 a month, which is crazy because usually you can't do that. They're trying to get rid of 2013s and build those sales numbers because the goal is to break that 15 million car yes, mile yes. marker. That's big. That's a big number. So, Lauren, uh, let me understand this. I read something that suggested that car sales were strong last year, but this year is certainly outpacing the number last year. But, but what was going on last year? Were the retailers offering the same kinds of incentives at the end of the year and people just weren't buying? we had a recession of course we had a lot of people that were you know still without jobs we had a lot of questions about what's going on with health care there's a lot of factors uh -huh. that that affect you know how people spend money and also you got to remember there was a big surge of people that bought cars during that cash for clunkers so that was possibly right. 36 month lease or 39 month leases so now they're starting to become due cars are you know who's going to buy a lease now that's the worst choice so people are thinking you know what time to look for new cars great incentives on 2013s even on 2014s there's some great deals and every manufacturer is fighting for that sale i mean you've got car brands like Audi that are really being aggressive and even Ford and GM and Chrysler they're out of their their slump and everyone's got new product great exciting product with great technology who wouldn't want a new car wow. it's a better deal than a used car in many cases yeah well, wait a minute uh, did you just indicate that you expect uh, 2014 to be pretty good for car sales It's hard to tell, but the thing is, the product is there, the prices are right, consumers mm -hmm. do need cars. Remember, the average car on the road today is between 11 and 12 years old, some are even older. And so those that have cars that they own, at some point, you're, the repair is going to be more than the value of the vehicle. So at that point, it is smarter to get a newer vehicle, whether it be used. But when you go to look at some of the used car numbers, they're so strong that people think, you know what, for that price on a used car, I might as well pick out what I want and yeah. get myself a new car. And that makes a lot of sense. And in many cases, that's what people are doing. It is good to see you. There she is, uh, the car coach, Lauren Fix. Uh, Lauren, let's have you back on the program soon. Good, good to, to see, see you. you. Yeah, pleasure.